What are the best 10 electric e-bikes for 2022? Raiders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and today it's the best enduro electric mountain bikes for 2022. This list has taken me a really, really long time to put together because there's so many amazing new e-bikes on the market, and if I haven't put yours in the list, your favorite one, put it in the comments because for me, these 10 are the 10 I would be buying this year. Now, how do we determine what an enduro e-bike is in 2022? In the world of 150 mil travel e-bikes with 63 degree head tube angles, is that a trail bike or an enduro bike? I'm gonna draw the line in the sand and say anything with 160 mils of travel or more is an enduro bike. And riders, if anything less than 150 isn't on the list, because it won't be, that's gonna be next week with the best trail e-bikes for 2022. And as I said, riders, it's so hard to find that perfect e-bike. But don't worry, we've got you covered. We have made the first ever sophisticated e-bike finder. Let's head over to samsbikes.net and check it out. So we're on the homepage and you can search by best value e-bikes, best electric e-bikes for 2022, best super light. And also the bike finder, you answer five simple questions and then you press enter or submit and it spits out three different bikes for you. And then you can also go back and let's say, okay, we wanna go into the pro bike compare which is awesome, and Zach, who's been building this, is a wizard. I hope you like it, riders. So we're looking for an enduro bike. So we're gonna go 160 to 190 mils of travel. We're gonna go 600 watt battery up to 800. Let's go price range 8,000 to 10,000. And I love this part, the chain stay. We go 435 to 450. You know I don't like a long chain stay. Head tube angle, let's go 64 to 62. Let's leave all the motors in, but you can choose the motor that you want. I'm gonna take off 27 wheels because I don't really like that. I'm gonna search by the price. You click that, look at that. So you have the Santa Cruz Bullet, Rocky Mountain, Attitude and the Score, and we have more riders. Let's put this into our Pro Compare. So now we've got the Rocky Mountain in the Pro Compare. We're gonna put the score and we're gonna put the Santa Cruz bullet. And then we go show compare. And now you can see these three bikes. You can see the price, you can see the weight when available, you can see the motor, the battery, the forks, the shock. The I honestly think it is the best way to buy your next e-bike or at least research it. So riders, check out samsbikes.net. I think you're gonna love it. And before we jump into the best 10 e-bikes, we need to thank the sponsors. Schwabi making amazing e-bike tires, and the new sponsor, Insta360. And all the action POV footage you're gonna see in the coming months will be shot on the tiny Insta360 Go 2. Now I've grouped the 10 e-bikes into motor categories because it's a super important part when you're buying an electric mountain bike. So first up, the Bosch Gen 4. The Gen 4 has 85 newton meters and it feels like it has a little bit more than that. It pulls really hard. It's got more of a mechanical feeling, the motor, but it's a really fun motor to ride. And the battery is really efficient. If you wanna see my range test on the Trek, click on the link above. It does have the rattle similar to the EP8. And even though Bosch have redesigned all the system and the buttons, it's still a little bit ugly and a little bit like a washing machine. Pole Volmer, I think is how you say it, but wow, look at this CNC beast of a super e-bike. 190 mils of travel front and back, rolling on 29 wheels, Bosch Gen 4, 750 watt battery, it's geo numbers in a large, reach 510, chain stay at 455, and head tube angle 63 and a half. 
The Volma is available in four sizes and a frame kit and a complete bike from 5,850 euros. Focus Sam Squared. But Sam had to get on the list as well because it's got an awesome name. And my mate Jorge, the Punisher, has the Focus Sam and he loves it and rates it and is super fast. Actually, he's faster than Sam on the Sam. So let's check out the stats. The Sam has 170 mils of travel front and rear, rolling on 29 wheels, but has a flip chip so you can run a mullet. Geo numbers in a large, 470 reach, 64 degree head tube angle, and a 450 chainstay. The Sam is available in four sizes and three models, starting from a very respectable 5,000 euros. Lapier GLP2. How can this bike not make the list? The most successful e-bike in the last two year EWS electric series. It's an absolute beast. Nico Vudio helped designed it and I love the GLP2. Rolling on mullets, 170, 160 suspension, Bosch Gen 4, 500 watt battery, reaching a large 484, chain state 440 and a head tube of 65 degrees. Okay, riders, you would agree it's not the best looking bike out there, but it's a race bike. I would like to see a 630 if it can fit in that space, because 500 is good, but for me, I think I'd like a 630. But again, this is a race bike. The GLP is available in four sizes and two models, starting from 6,300 euros. The next three bikes use the Shimano EP8 and I've done over a thousand kilometers on the EP8, and it's a good motor. It's a really nice compact motor. It's got a great natural feeling pedal stroke, but, and this is a massive but, in the model, in the EP8 that I tested in the commensal Metapower SX with a 630 watt battery, I was really not that impressed with the range. With the Specialized Levo Gen 3 with a Bros Mag S and a 700 watt battery, I got 1500 meters of vertical climbing. And with the Trek Rail with a Bosch Gen 4 and a 625 watt battery, I got around the same. I think it was just a little bit more. And with the Commensal Metapower SX with the Shimano EP8 and a 630 watt battery, I got about 1100 meters of vertical climbing. So quite a lot less. And riders, if it was me and I was looking at the Shimano EP8, I would definitely be looking at getting a 720 watt battery or two 630s because I like to do more than 1100 meters of vertical climbing. Yeti 160E. The new Yeti looks amazing. 170, 160 travel, running on 29 wheels, Shimano EP8, 630 watt battery, and the geo numbers in a large reach 480, chain state 446, and a head tube angle of 64.5. I think Yeti have done a sensational job with the new six infinity suspension kinematics. The Yeti 160E is available in four sizes and two models starting at 10,900 euros. Score 4060 ZLT. Okay, terrible name, but check the bike. 29 wheels, 170, 160. Very cool looking lower link suspension. Kind of a little bit like the Kinevo SL or the Mega Tower. Shimano EP8 motor and a 720 watt battery. Okay, so the bike looks awesome, right? But who's Score? Well, Score's not a new company. It's a subsidiary or a partner company of BMC. So they've been around a long time and they know what they're doing. And now let's look at the geometry. It even gets better. A 435 chain stay on a 29er. I am digging that. Reaching a large 485 head tube angle 63.8. Available in four sizes and two models starting from 6,300 euros. Santa Cruz Bullet. The Bullet had to make the list. The Enduro downhill sled from Santa Cruz. Think of the V10 with a motor and battery strapped to it. Rolling on mullet wheels, 170 suspension front and rear. Shimano EP8, 630 battery, geo numbers in a large. Reach 475, chain stay 449 and a head tube angle of 64 degrees. The bullet with 170 mils of VP rear suspension 
is gonna be a weapon out on the downhill on the Super Enduro trails. Available in four sizes and starting from 7,900 euros. The next bike is using a Bros Mag S and you're probably gonna guess which bike it is. That's right, the classic, the original, Specialized Kinevo. The Kinevo is rolling on 27.5 wheels, 180 mils of travel front and rear. In an S4, which is kind of a large, has a reach of 495, head tube angle 64 degrees, and chain state of 454. I've tested the Kinevo in Australia about a year and a half ago. I love the Kinevo. It really channels that inner downhill World Cup racer in you. It makes me ride a little bit above my pay scale, but it's such a confident bike. I really enjoyed the Kinevo. And let's give you a little bit more information about the Bros Mag S. The Bros Mag S has 90 Nm. It's a brilliant motor, silent and loads of power. And when you combine it with specialized mission control, it's so customizable and tunable. It really is the next level. The Kinevo is available in four sizes and two models starting from 6,000 euros. The next two bikes are using the brand new Yamaha PWX3 motor. The PWX3 has 85 Nm and it's only just been released and I haven't tested it so I really can't say too much about it. But I know a few riders that have ridden it and they really liked it. And also want to say, I think Yamaha really, really want to get in that top tier motor. Giant Rain E Plus. The new Rain looks amazing and I did get to have a closer look at it at this year's EWS races. It's rolling on mullet wheels, 170, 160 of Maestro suspension travel, the new Yam PW3 and Giant's own sync drive software with a massive 750 watt battery in the top model. Geo numbers in a large reach 474, chain state 454 and head tube angle 64. I think when you look at the new Giant Rain E Plus, the top model for 7,500 euros, it's amazing value with a 750 watt battery and the build. It's gotta be one of the best valued e-bikes on the market when you're buying in a traditional bike shop. High bike Enduro, and wow, this bike is such a killer spec. We're gonna talk about the Enduro 7, 5,500 euros. 38, X2, Magura MT7, Shorby tires, Mavic D-Max wheels, 750 watt battery for 5,500 euros. Really, I've got no idea how high bike are doing this. The bike is coming in just over 26 kilos, so it's not a lightweight, but 180 mils of travel front and rear. The new Yam PW3, reach in a large 480, chain stay 460, head tube angle 63.5. Definitely, this is great value. The high bike Enduro is available in four sizes and three models starting from 4,500 euros. And the last bike on the list, the brand new Rocky Mountain Attitude Power Play. The Attitude is using a brand new motor from Rocky Mountain, Dyname 4.0. It has a massive 108 Nm of power, but again, it's a brand new motor like the Yamaha, and I would love to test it or see other people test it. But when I was in Australia like 18 months ago, I did test very quickly the predecessors, and I was very impressed. It has loads of power. Brand new Attitude Power Play looks really impressive. Rolling on 29 wheels, 170 at the front, 160 at the rear, 108 Nm meters from the Dynane 4.0, a massive 720 watt battery. Geo numbers are not shabby either. It's got a four change geometry and in the slack setting in a large, reach 475, head tube angle 63.5 degrees, and a nice short chain stay of 439. I would love to test this bike. The power play is available in four sizes and four models starting from 5,500 euros. Okay, riders, that's my top 10 e-bikes for this year, 2022. But the million dollar question is, which bike would I choose if I was gonna spend my hard earned money? Pretty hard riders, there's a lot of good bikes out of there. But let's have a look at my top five and then I'm gonna give you which one I would buy. It's hard not to look past the Yeti 160E with that amazing kinematic suspension, but 
I'm gonna need a bigger battery than 630 with the Shimano, so I wouldn't be getting the Yeti. The Giant Rain E is amazing value, but I haven't tested the new motor or the firmware from Giant. So I'm gonna say I would love to test it, but I'm gonna pass on that one as well. And the Rocky Mountain as well in the same boat as the Giant. I would love to test the new motor and the bike looks amazing, but I probably wouldn't splash the cash without trying it first. And the Pole of Ulmer looks amazing. And if I lived in the Alps, it would definitely be a bike for me with 190 front and back. But in Madrid, it's probably gonna be overkill. So riders, if I was buying a brand new Enduro e-bike today, because it might change tomorrow, because there's so many great bikes coming out, I would be buying the Score 4060. I know, terrible name, but the geometry is perfect for me. 435 chain stay, 720 watt battery with the Shimano EP8, 22 to 23 kilos, that lower link suspension, killer build, 8,300 euros. That would definitely be getting my pick for today. And as I said, it might change for tomorrow. But riders, more importantly, what would you be picking? Put a comment below what bike you'd be picking for this year and what I left off the list. And make sure you subscribe to Sands Bikes because next week, we're doing the perfect day in Madrid with Big Brian who came over for America for a week. We rode some epic trails, we ate some amazing food and wine, and we documented the whole thing. So that is next week. And riders, you know it, stay safe out there, and I'm gonna see you next week.